Stadium, Knoxville, Tennessee, for the annual Kentucky Tennessee football game. The final home game of the year for the Volunteers, and it's the final game of the season for the Kentucky Wildcats. The pride of the Southland band forms the giant T as the senior members of the University of Tennessee will make their final appearance before 90,000 fans in Knoxville. Tennessee comes into the record three and six, comes into the game with a record of three and six. Kentucky's record is three and seven. Players being introduced, Val Barksdale from Harriman, Tennessee, defensive back. Starting linebacker for two or three of his campaigns, Chris Bolton. He's been hampered with injuries this year. Greg Bridges, determined young defensive back from Nashville, from Knoxville, Tennessee. The record-setting extra point kicker, Alan Duncan. Clark Duncan. Defensive back from Irwin, Tennessee, a starter for the Volunteers. Greg Gay, started as a defensive back, is now actually a linebacker for Tennessee, going into this game with Kentucky. One of Tennessee's finest tight ends ever, Reggie Harper from Hartsville. Injured in midseason, outstanding performer Avery Huff from Newmarket. All-conference offensive tackle Tim Irwin of Knoxville. The man who has snapped for extra points for most of his career, Jack Jolly. From Brownsville, Tennessee, a starter at cornerback for much of his career, Wilbur Jones. Three-year starter, offensive guard Bill Marin. Starter from McMinnville, a cornerback, Danny Martin. Junior Reed played as a defensive back, also a running back from Humboldt. Just named to an All-American team, Danny Spradlin, linebacker, Maryville. Outstanding member of the specialty team, Shabet Suttle from Lafayette, Georgia. Outstanding defensive tackle, senior Brad White. And a four-year starter, offensive guard Jay Williams from Nashville. And as you hear in the background, as the injured Jimmy Noonan comes out, the cheers of the fans, Noonan, the senior from Dyersburg, underwent surgery earlier this week. And now the rest of the volunteers will race onto the field for the commencement of this traditional battle, Tennessee and Kentucky. It's football time in Tennessee. Tennessee Southeastern Conference record is one and three. Kentucky comes in one and four. The Wildcats have lost four games during the year in the final one minute of play. Now there's Tennessee's Captain Allen Duncan, Captain Brad White, Danny Spradlin, Tim Irwin, the captains for Kentucky, Ken Roark, and Tim Gooch. We'll have the toss of the coin. Kentucky has the chance to designate. Tennessee, however, wins the toss, and Danny Spradlin says Tennessee will receive. So Kentucky, with Tim Gooch there, the fine defensive tackle number 72, will be kicking off. An emotional moment, the final home game for these seniors and for 15 of their compatriots. Tennessee's ready to play Kentucky. 
run right along with the players back to that huddle. And you experience the intensity. Tennessee, it's receiving unit. Willie Galt counting there to make sure there are 10 other players there, and we're set to get underway. And here's the kick coming downfield. Willie Galt will race up under the ball at about the eight yard line. Hole opens, Galt on his way, he breaks open. Galt at the 40, 45, 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Give him six. Touchdown, Willie Galt, 92 yards. A second look from the end zone, and watch the blocking. Willie Galt, there's the big block. And once he's open, nobody, nobody will catch him. A third look as Willie Galt finds the opening and turns on the speed. Olympic class sprinter, Tennessee six, Kentucky nothing. The second kickoff return of the year for Willie Galt. Earlier, he returned one 100 yards against Pittsburgh. This one, 92 yards. And Tennessee falls to a 6-0 lead. In to attempt the extra point will be Alan Duck and John Warren will be holding. Tennessee leading as the extra point by Duncan is up and good. Tennessee seven, Kentucky nothing. As you see, only 11 seconds have elapsed. As Galt returns the opening kickoff and now Alan Duncan will be kicking off for Tennessee. Seven to nothing, Tennessee leading. And there's the kick from the end zone. Takes a skip. This is Wimberley. He's tackled, and we pick up the action with the fans watching as Kentucky comes to the line. Terry Henry, left halfback out of the full house backfield. Moves it forward for a couple of yards. Quarterback McCrimmon, handoff Henry, sweeping, turning. Running room outside, 92 is Brad, uh, change that Reggie White. Number 40 is Bill Bates. It will be third down and four. McCrimmon to pass. It is complete, taken by the tight end Campbell. Spins forward and gets a first down and 10 to go for the Wildcats. A second look as McCrimmon sets up and passes to the tight end Campbell. Number one is Jenkins, 37 is Clark Duncan, 27 is Gaines, but it will be first out and 10 to go for Kentucky. Again, handoff Henry. A little wedge through the right side as the left halfback comes Henry, forward for a gain of three. Second and seven. This is Henry carrying. Change that Jackson. He picks up a couple. Wampler is there with Reggie White now turning the corner carrying the ball forward and racing it down to just short of a first down was McCrimmon the ball resting at the 42 yard line of the Volunteers Kentucky trailing seven to nothing Henry dives I don't know he needed a foot he might have gotten just about two feet the official has marked the ball and it is first down and ten to go for the Wildcats our end zone cameraman David Buke McCrimmon wants to throw. Good time. Pass. Complete. Tight end again. That's Campbell. Breaks a tackle. And Campbell races forward for another first down. 26 yards on the pass. A second look as McCrimmon rifles the pass to Campbell. Running through a tackle. Picks up six more yards before he's tackled by Gaines. First and ten at the Tennessee 14-yard line. Score seven to nothing. Tennessee leading, but the Cats are moving with that football. McCrimmon wants to throw. Pass complete. That's Campbell again. Battling his way close to the goal line. 
whistle sounds and the officials say that he was stopped before he made it into the end zone. A second look. McCrimmon, plenty of time. The pass complete. Campbell, Duncan, Bates. The ball stop him as the whistle sounds just one foot before he gets into the end zone. It will be first down and goal to go for the Wildcats. Trailing in the game seven to nothing. Tennessee with its goal line defense now as Kentucky comes to the line. McCrimmon is the quarterback. Seven to nothing to score. The Wildcats leading. McCrimmon sneaking. Waiting for the sign. It is. Tennessee was offsides and the sneak is good. Touchdown for Kentucky. Griggs for the extra point. As you see right through the middle. And so Kentucky has come back to tie the game. Kentucky seven, Tennessee seven. Kicking off is Griggs. He angles it away from Willie Gall. And it's taken by Terry Daniels at the 21. He returns the ball out to about the 30 yard line. It'll be spotted at the 29, first down. Tennessee seven, Kentucky seven. Alatori's pass complete, Hancock moving forward. A second look as Alatori throws. The pass is complete. A penalty flag down. With it is Hancock. Hancock forward for right at nine yards. Penalty on the play offsides. Kentucky declined by Tennessee. Second down, a yard to go. The ball's to the line with Alatori, the quarterback. Fullback is Phillips. Tailback is Berry. Phillips straight ahead, plunging for the first out. First and 10 for Tennessee at the 41 yard line of the Volunteers. 7 to 7 the score. Alatoria against a four man cat front. Hand off Barry. Barry running room. Barry to the midfield stripe. Twists and turns. Down to the 46. A second look. James Barry. Good hole. Nice cut. Nice spin. Gain on the play. 14 yards. First down. 10 to go for Tennessee. Alatori keeping turning. Gets about three yards. From the 45 to the 42. He's tackled by Jones. It will be second and seven for Tennessee. Steve Alatori at quarterback. Looking over. Checking off. Back to throw. Here's the pass. It is complete. Willie Galt juggled the ball and then falls to maintain possession. Gaining six yards. It will be third down and one. Lee North out over the ball. He's the center for Tennessee. Kentucky stacks up its defense into a six-man front. Alatori, Phillips crashing forward as he hurdles for the first and ten. First down, Tennessee as Phillips catapults over the left side of the line. Ball at the 34-yard line of the Wildcats. Seven to seven the score. This is Berry, right side. There's a hole. He's got running room. He battles with fine individual effort. Moving the ball down to the 25-yard line. A second look at Berry. James Berry for Jealousy picks up nine. It will be second down and one. Jealousy with the ball at the 25-yard line of Kentucky. Phillips trying for the first down, needed a yard. He got it, and it will be first down and 10 to go for Tennessee. The pitch is to James Berry this time. He turns, he's knocked down, got about a yard. Schroeder made the tackle at the end of the first period. The score at the end of the first quarter, Tennessee 7, Kentucky 7. The ball's now moving toward the north end of the football field. Attendance announced at 90,241. Steve Alatori dropping to throw, looking, in trouble, passes the ball, it is incomplete, far out of bounds. As Alatori, looking for Galt, overshoots him and the pass is incomplete. It's third down nine. Alatori brings his team up in the I formation with Hancock sliding to the right. Hancock becomes a man in motion back to the left. Alatori looking to throw. Will keep on the option. Will turn. Will cut. Will dive for yardage. Fine decision by Alatori. But it is short of the first down by about two feet. Fourth down. Tennessee trying for the first on fourth. Let's see. Phillips diving. And he's got it first and goal for Tennessee. Actually first and 10 at the 11 yard line. 
Seven to seven the score. Tennessee with the ball. Barry knifing his way as he rattles over right guard, battles his way down to the six yard line at second and five. Again, this is Barry diving for four yards, moving it down to the two yard line. It will be third and one to go for a first down, two to go for a touchdown. Seven to seven the score. Tennessee and Kentucky. Kentucky digging in with the virtual eight man line. Diving Phillips, struggling, churning, fighting. Let's see. He needed less than a yard, and he has it first down and goal to go. First and goal for the Volunteers. Phillips diving into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Vernon Phillips scores for the Volunteers, and Tennessee grabs the lead back from the Wildcats. It's now 13 to 7, and in to attempt the extra point will be Alan Duckett. Snapping is jolly. The kick by Duncan is in the air, and the kick by Duncan is good. Tennessee 14, Kentucky 7. Alan Duncan will be kicking off, angles it toward the west sideline, and it bounces barely into the end zone for the touchback. And so it will be Kentucky first down and 10 to go at its 20-yard line, trailing now 14 to 7. McCrimmon is at quarterback. Tennessee in a five-man front. Handoff goes to Abraham. Crashing through the left side of the line. Gets three yards to the 23. Second down and seven. Now this is Henry, who is really blasted by middle guard Jackson. Here's Henry, and there's Jackson, number 68, right on top of him. Then cleaning up is Reggie White. Leonard Jackson. Third and seven. McCrimmon fakes on play action, back to throw, man comes open, complete, Campbell, 35-40, 45, fumbles the ball, but it's out of bounds, and Kentucky, the last team with possession, will have it first down and 10 to go. McCrimmon's pass is complete at the 30 to the 35, 40, 45, fumbles the ball out of bounds in Tennessee territory, Jim Campbell with his third pass reception in the first half. It's first down and 10 at the volunteer 47-yard line. Abraham struggles forward for two yards, wrestled down by Greg Gaines. Second down, about seven and a half to go. Kentucky trailing 14 to seven. McCrimmon on the pitch, cutting inside, <laughs> battling for yardage. Gain on the play by Francis, and it will be first down and 10 to go. Ball at the Volunteer 36 yard line. First and 10 for the Wildcats. Abraham. Knifes up the middle, plunging forward for four yards. Second down, six. Hand off Henry. Henry, a little room on the right side. Stepping forward for four more yards. It'll be third down and two. Tennessee into a goal line defense on short yardage. Henry, no, he stops short. Number 40 is Bates. 77 Wampler and 50 was Spradlin who really made the stick. No gain. It's fourth down, two to go. They unstack the players and it will be Kentucky decision time. The Cats are going to go for the first down. They trail 14 to 7. The Primum has them up there. Play action, wants to pass. It is complete. Taken by Henry who steps out of bounds with plenty of room to spare. First and 10 for Kentucky. This is Jackson cutting through the right side for a gain of three. Terry Hen with the ball. 20, 15, out to the 10. He's got the ball at the five, into the end zone. Terry Henry, the sophomore from Knoxville, Tennessee, carries through for the Wildcat touchdown. A second look, fine blocking. Excellent running by Henry. And Kentucky pulls to within one. It's 14 to 13 in favor of Tennessee. Here is Griggs trying to tie. The kick by Drig uh, Griggs is up and good. And so the score is evened out at 14 to 14. First half of the contest at Knoxville, and it will be Griggs to kick off. 
Here's the kick coming downfield. Again, angling it away from Willie Galt. It's taken by Daniels at the 20, to the 25, to the 30, maybe to the 31-yard line. Tennessee first down and 10 to go. Hancock in motion. Barry with the ball. Twisting forward for a gain of five yards. Second down and five. Barry again up the middle. He's got four yards. Driving the ball to the 40-yard line where it will be for Tennessee third down and one to go. The ball's line up with a full house backfield. No, it's back to the eye with Phillips, the fullback, driving forward. No, he didn't make it. Kentucky right there with Brooks at the bottom of the stack. And it will be fourth down and Tennessee gets John Warren into the football game. Warren to punt deep will be Jacobs for Kentucky. Punt by Warren is away. High and long. Brooks under, asks for, and makes the fair catch inside his 20-yard line. 14 to 14 the score. Kentucky back on offense. McCrimmon. And off fake. McCrimmon on the bootleg to the left. Great move, McCrimmon. 20, 25. Knocked down as he gets out to about the 27-yard line. It's enough for the first down, and Kentucky with it, moving on the ground. McCrimmon lines up. Tennessee with Jackson, the nose guard. Handoff, fumble, recovered by Reggie White. Tennessee with the football. A second look from the sideline. Ball was really mishandled, I think. Let's see. Never really getting a handle on it was Jackson, and Reggie White recovers the fumble, and Tennessee's got possession in Kentucky territory. Reggie White, freshman from Chattanooga. Tennessee breaks in the huddle to the line. Steve Alatori, junior from California at quarterback. He's gone all the way. I formation, Phillips the fullback. Phillips, twisting maybe two yards. Second down, eight to go. Alatori, rolling left, throws the football, complete. That's gone. Willie Gold makes the reception, and that should be enough for the first down. A second look from the sideline. Coming right into your view there is Willie Galt. First and ten for the Volunteers at the 16-yard line of Kentucky. Score is tied at 14-14. Kentucky in a five-man front against the Volunteers, whose strong side right, then they run back to the near side and carrying the ball forward for a gain of close to five yards is James Berry. Second down and five, ball at the 11. Barry again. He gets only a yard. Fine defensive play that time by Kentucky's left side. Leading the play was long. A gain of a yard. It's third down and four. 14 to 14. Man in motion is Hancock. Five man front. Alatori on the option. Will keep. Will turn. Ten. Down to the five. Down to the four yard line. Tennessee's got a first down. A second look. Steve Alatori. Cutting. Turning. Loring. Driving. Diving for the first down. A third look from the end zone. Alatori for the first down. First and goal for the Volunteers. Tennessee trying to break the deadlock. The score is tied at 14-14. There's our sideline cameraman, Jeff Jernigan. The basic camera work being done, of course, by Ernie Robertson upstairs. Driving through the left side, James Berry. He gets a couple of yards. Tennessee with the football. The score is tied, 14-14. Kentucky pinching down in the middle. Anticipating Tennessee's lunge through the middle. The pitch fake. There's the pitch instead going to Daniel. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. A second look. Great fake, great pitch with the Daniels untouched in the end zone. Tennessee builds its lead to 20 to 14. Alan Duncan will be on to attempt the extra point. The kick by Duncan is good. And so the score at the end of the first half of the football game. Tennessee 21, Kentucky 14. The pride of the Southland fans of the University of Tennessee Directed by Dr. J. Julian.
Tennessee band, which originated the now famous circle drill with some variations. Your twirler Nancy Jean Dolphy of the University of Tennessee. And continues with there is going to be a great day as Tennessee leads Kentucky at halftime 21 to 14. Tennessee Pride of the Southland Band accepting the plaudits of the crowd on hand as it has done for the 20 years under its under the direction of Dr. J. Julian who is completing his 20th year with the University of Tennessee Band and now it's back to football in Tennessee will be kicking off and to kick off will be John Warren Alan Duncan skied one relatively short so coach Johnny Majors is going to have Alan Duncan Watch John Warren kicking off, and here comes Warren, and there's the kick. Kentucky, it's relatively short. Pulled down by Baird. He's back up to the 30-yard line, gets outside to the 35 before he shoved out of bounds. So Kentucky, trailing by seven points, has excellent field position. First down, 10 to go at the 36 when it's spotted. The Wildcats with McCrimmon. He's gone all the way at quarterback. Wants to throw the pass downfield. Is incomplete. Ooh, what a Lick. It was incomplete. Making the hit there was Val Barksdale. Pass is incomplete. Kentucky, handoff. Abraham, no. 90, Brad White. 27, Greg Gage. 68, Leonard Jackson. Third down, Kentucky's McCrimmon. Getting pressure, the pass is overthrown. 
Tennessee came with a blitz from the left side and it's fourth down and so Kentucky has Jenkins in the punt. There's the punt with Willie Galt backing up corralling the ball at the 16 20 out to the 23 yard line. He's tackled there and it will be first down and 10 to go. Tennessee with the football. Alatori to throw the pass. It is complete. Great catch. Who was that? Mike Miller pulls it down. A second look. Alatori off a of play action, faking the give to Barry. Nice fake. Now Alatori. Here's the pass. It's complete. Miller with one foot in bounds as he strides out. And Tennessee's Mike Miller pulls down a 16 yard pass. And it's first down, 10 to go. Man in motion, Anthony Hancock. Alatori, misdirection. Play didn't work too well. Carrying the football was Berry. But then as Berry is twisted down, a personal foul, I think, is indicated with the dropping of the penalty flag. Personal foul, Kentucky. 15-yard penalty, first and 10 for Tennessee. The ball's with it. Give quickly Phillips. Pounding the middle, gets two. Second down, eight yards to go. Score of the game, Tennessee 21, Kentucky 14. The Volunteers in Kentucky territory. Alatori rips the pass. It is complete. Who was that? That's pulled out by Reggie Harper. Fine catch by Harper. It looks as if the pass might have been deflected. Let's see. Not so. It's Harper who reaches and grabs, and Tennessee moves to within a yard of a first. It'll be third down, one to go. Reggie Harper. Senior from Hartsville, Tennessee. Played with knee problems all year long. Tennessee needs a yard for the first. Kentucky digs in defensively. This is Phillips pounding forward. It will be close. Change that it was not Phillips, it was Berry. And it is first down and 10 to go for Tennessee. First down for the balls, leading 21 to 14. Alatori, quick toss, pass complete. Miller knocked down immediately. Pick up a five on that outlet pass from Alatori to sophomore Mike Miller. Second down, five for Tennessee. Pass is complete. What a catch. Reggie Harper. A second look at this pass from Alatori. Reggie Harper, one hand grab, and it is complete for the first down. A third look at this reception by Reggie Harper. Pass is complete, and Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go at the 26-yard line. Reggie Harper. The ball's to the line, first down and 10 at the 26-yard line. Alatori, Berry, Berry 25, Berry 20, Berry 15, Berry to the 10, Berry all the way down to the six yard line. A second look at the run by James Berry, who goes over 100 yards with this run in this football game. Berry will have it, and Tennessee's got it first down and goal at the six. First and goal for the Volunteers. Leading in the game by a score of 21 to 14. Steve Alatore in the option, wants to throw. Nothing there, will run. Five, four, three, two. He drives into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Steve Alatore breaks the plane at the goal line. Diving in for the touchdown, and Tennessee builds its lead to 27 to 14. Steve Alatore. Scoring for the Tennessee Volunteers. Now in to attempt the extra point will be Alan Duncan. The kick is good. And with that kick, Alan Duncan has tied the record for the most consecutive extra points over a three-year span. He has made successfully 60 points after touchdown. Now it will be Duncan back to his normal duty of kicking off, and this one he knocks into the end zone where it will be down. First down, 10 to go for Kentucky. 
as Beard down the ball and Kentucky comes to the line at the 20. Jackson turning the corner gets up there to the 25 and on to the 26 where he's tackled by Jenkins. Second down four yards to go for the Wildcats. McCrimmon spinning left will pass. It is ooh, almost intercepted. Spradlin had a chance. The pass is incomplete. It'll be third down for the Wildcats trailing 28 to 14. Pass is broken up again almost intercepted as Barksdale came sauntering through and almost made the interception but it's incomplete and it's fourth down. Kentucky with Jenkins to get the punt away sorted it downfield backing up watching the ball bounce is Willie Galt and then he ambles away from the ball as it gets a fine Kentucky roll and is down to the 15 yard line. Tennessee with the ball leading 28 to 14 the handoff is to Barry and Barry comes through the left side of the line picks up a couple second down eight yards to go man in motion is Hancock handoff to Barry Barry starts right cuts back to the left he spins and he battles forward for what may be a first down James Barry a second look out there past the 25 yard line and it will be first down and 10 to go for the Volunteers. Man in motion Hancock. Terry Daniels now in there at tailback and Daniels didn't get much a couple of yards up the middle. As he's stuffed up by the Kentucky defenders. Second down eight yards to go. Tennessee leading 28 to 14 as Alatori throws downfield. It is complete on a jumping grab by Willie Galt of Tennessee. A second look at this first down pass. Complete there at the 37 yard line. And Tennessee will have it first down 10 to go. Alatori number 80 is Mike Kofer as Harper was injured. When Tennessee scored its touchdown and Mike Kofer from Atlanta Georgia is on there now at the tight end. Back at tailback is James Berry taking a deep set, knifing up the middle past the 40 to the 41 yard line. Kentucky in a four man down lineman situation. The pitch will come to the tailback. He tries the corner, he turns upfield, he lunges past the 45 yard line. And Tennessee will have it third down. Alatori on the keeper turns, fights into Kentucky territory to the 48, and that will be enough for the first down. First and 10 for Tennessee, leading in the game 28 to 14, third period. Alatori, bootleg, back to throw. He's going to be sacked behind the line of scrimmage. Gooch was there, as was Long. Loss of four, it becomes second down and 14. Tennessee with Hancock in motion. Here's the pitch to Hancock on the deep reverse. Hancock 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35. Hancock cuts back, goes to the 29 yard line. A second look from the sideline as Tennessee runs the deep reverse. There's the pitch to Hancock. Getting outside against the flow. Cutting back and is popped and dropped. But it will be first down and 10 to go as Hancock that go that time for Tennessee goes 23 yards. A third look from the end zone. Beautiful execution. Anthony Hancock perhaps a bit despondent because he cut to the left instead of the right. But Tennessee will have the ball and now freshman Randall Morris is running a tailback. That was he picking up six yards at the right side. Morris this time up the middle. Gets a yard. It's third down and three. Tennessee leading in the football game 28 to 14. Alatori on the misdirection will turn. Oh he stopped short of the first down. It will be fourth down and better than a yard to go. So into the game for Tennessee will come Alan Duncan. He'll be attempting a field goal of 37 yards. The kick by Duncan is up. The kick by Duncan is good. Tennessee 31, Kentucky 14.
Duncan will be kicking off now for the Volunteers who have scored 17 third period points. Excuse me, Tennessee scored 10 third period points. It was 21-14 at halftime. It's now 31-14. This is Baird returning the kickoff for Kentucky. Gets it back out to the 20-yard line. First and 10 for the Wildcats. Unable to get any offensive play going. Here is McCrimmon fumbling the football and it is recovered by Kentucky. McCrimmon was hit. Rourke is the man who recovers. Wampler is the man who put the hit on and also there was Brad White. Recovery made by Kentucky. Lost on the play. 11 yards at second down 21. McCrimmon wants to throw the pass downfield. It is incomplete. Deflected by Lamont Hope Jeffers. Third down upcoming for the Wildcats. Kentucky yet to pick up a first down in the second half. McCrimmon with a straight drop. A long pass downfield. It is overthrown incomplete. 42 is Barksdale. 29 stride for stride Danny Martin. So on fourth down here is Jenkins to punt. The punt is high and long, and Golf backs up and makes the catch. Looking for the wall, nothing there. Starts, stops, starts again, and is dropped. As Tennessee comes to the line of scrimmage, the time elapses in period number three. So as we move to the final quarter, the score is Tennessee 31, Kentucky 14. Tennessee with the football. Handoff goes to James Berry. Berry finds an opening. Pops through the left side of the line. Moves forward for 11 yards. It's a first down. First and 10 at midfield for the Volunteers. Leading Kentucky. Man in motion. To the left is Doug Parrish. Handoff goes to Morris. He breaks a tackle. 45. Morris 40. Morris down to the 39-yard line where he's tackled. Gain of 11 by Morris. Here's a second look. Quarterback turn, running back, Randall Morris, freshman from California. Gives Tennessee another first down at the 39-yard line. Carrying the ball again on the pitch comes Randall Morris for a gain of three, second down and seven. Fourth period of the game, Tennessee and Kentucky and Knoxville. Alatori. The pass. It is complete. Taken out there in the flat by Miller. A gain of five. It'll still be short of a first by right at two yards. Third down, two to go. Alatori keeping on the option, turns the corner, drives forward for the first down. Randall Morris with the ball up the middle, finds a little opening, pops through that crack for a gain of five. It'll be second down five for Chelsea at the 22. Pitch comes back to Randall Morris. Morris at the 15-yard line. Morris over the right side of the line. A second look at this run by freshman Randall Morris. Blocking Armstrong. Running right behind that block comes Morris. And Chelsea has another first down at the 13-yard line. First and 10 for Chelsea. Now to the end zone sideline camera. Carlton Armstrong popping it up the middle. The junior from Nashville running at fullback gives Tennessee a second down and one to go. Alatory handoff, Morris diving, touchdown Tennessee. Randall Morris scores and Tennessee has Alan Duncan in attempting to break the consecutive extra point record. It's good. Tennessee leads by a score of 38 to 14. Allen Duncan breaks the record held by George Hunt of 40 in a row. Excuse me, 60 in a row. That was his 61st consecutive extra point. Now Duncan will be kicking off. Taken by Kentucky's Beard. 5, 10, 15. Outside to the 20 being chased by Jenkins. One on one makes the stop with help from Marksfield. Barksdale is there along with Jenkins. 
And it will be first down for Kentucky. McCrimmon with a straight drop to throw. The pass is complete. Taken here by Campbell. Campbell edges forward for a gain of five yards on the play. Second down upcoming for the Wildcats. Still without a first down in the second half. McCrimmon's pass, it is incomplete. Intended this time for Watson. Third down. Long pass. Well, that was deflected at the line of scrimmage. I think that Reggie White got his hand on the football. Deflecting it. Knocking it awry. And so it's fourth down, and Kentucky is forced once more to punt. Jenkins gets the punt away. Taken by Galt, who asks for the fair catch. And Tennessee, handoff, Armstrong. Armstrong through the right side of the line. He busts forward for a gain of 13 yards. A second look at the run by Armstrong. The fullback starts up the middle, sees a hole, cuts to the right. Powers forward for a gain of 13 yards and a first down. Tennessee's quarterback is now Jeff Olszewski. Armstrong is the fullback. Morris is the tailback. This is Morris. Gets a block. And he rattles forward for a gain on the play. They'll spot it at the 44-yard line. Phillips back in at fullback. Grinding out four yards up the middle. It's third down and two. Tennessee leading by a score of 38-14 to 14 in the final period of the game. The ball's keeping it on the ground. As Morris... Slithers through the left side of the line. Picks up the first down. First and ten for Tennessee at midfield. Man in motion, Parrish. He's a sophomore flanker. Handoff goes to Armstrong, staggering forward for right at three yards, and it's got to be second down, closer to two. Second down, eight yards to go. Olszewski checking off at the line of scrimmage. Olszewski's going to throw the football. The pass is complete. Goal, 25-20. 15-10-5, Willie Gall, touchdown, Tennessee. A second look as Olszewski on the forward to the 30-yard line where Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go. Again, Cockrell, handoff, Coleman, left side, nothing. Maybe a yard. Out to the 31-yard line. Where Tennessee will have it second down and nine. Running backs split. Handoff, Furnace, nothing. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's it. Wood there on the stop. Third down, nine to go. Cockrell for the balls, coming to the near side. Started a pitch, will run instead, and will be stopped at the go at the line of scrimmage. So it's fourth down and nine, less than two minutes to go, and here's Jimmy Colquitt. Punt is not that good a punt for Colquitt. It's taken on the run up after the football, Alabama. The return is made by White, and Alabama will have the ball. First down and 10 at its 40. Now Alabama's right tackle moves. They lined up with the shotgun, and Alabama is guilty of illegal procedure. So it'll be first down and 15 for Alabama at the 35. Pass is incomplete. Alabama is out of timeouts. One minute, 26 seconds to go in the football game. The tide trailing by seven points. Here's Lewis setting up, waiting. Pass long downfield. The pass is incomplete. Tipped by Clark. The tide with Lewis. Wanting to run 35, 40. He's got a first down, I think. Walter Lewis. Stopping the clock also as he goes out of bounds. So Alabama maintains possession. Lewis, the quarterback, setting up across the middle. Pass is complete. Ripped down there by Alabama. Moving past midfield to the Tennessee side of the 50. And again, it will be Alabama. First down and 10. Lewis. Pass in the flat. Pull down. Taken by Moore. Racing to the sideline. He steps out of bounds to stop the clock. Alabama in a brilliant... Two-minute drill. Back to throw. Tennessee leading by seven. Lewis waiting. Pass downfield. It is complete. Bendros with the football. Bendros has the ball at the 25. Bendros is stepping out of bounds to stop the clock. And Alabama moves ever closer to the Tennessee goal. You see the ball at the 18-yard line. 
You see Lewis fading back to throw. Looking. Pass downfield is incomplete. Knocked down by Lee Jenkins. A second look at the defensive effort by the recovering Jenkins. The man looked open momentarily, but then Jenkins flips it away. Excellent defensive play. Alabama trailing 35 to 28. Lewis looking into the end zone. Long pass is deflected. Intercepted to Tennessee. Alabama out of timeouts. Tennessee with Cockrell at quarterback. He falls on the ball, protected by Furtis, and the fans will count it down. Tennessee has beaten Alabama. The final score, the Volunteers 35, the Crimson Tide 28. As you might expect, it's a loud but happy Tennessee dressing room. Mike Miller had a touchdown catch to put the volunteers ahead. Mike, congratulations. I guess this was a win for the seniors especially. Yes, thank you, uh, Bob. You know, we've been here four or five years and never been Alabama. It's not good just to be Alabama. I think it's great for the team to just get a win. You went up against one of the better defensive secondaries in the country Saturday, and you guys really did a heck of a job. Yes, we did. Uh, I think if we just utilize our offense with our three wide receivers, I don't think there's too many people that can cover us down after down. Sometime later, we're going to get along with them. Tell us about your touchdown catch. It was just a simple uh, hook and go pattern. We have been uh, hitting them with the little short passes all day. And uh, we decided to give a little fake to the short one and go deep with it. And it worked? Yeah, it worked. Tennessee running back Chuck Coleman, one of 100 yards. He was a key in the game. Chuck, congratulations. Tell us about the offensive running attack. Uh, we're starting to play more as a unit. I, I think... Uh, <clears throat> Our offense came together much today. Last, we really started last week when we played LSU, and uh, I say we just is a good win for us. There's a lot of things we can uh, correct on, and, but but still, I think the running game did pretty good today. Offensive line for the Volunteers was one of the keys in the game. Steve Knight is with us, and Steve, I don't think the Tennessee team has played better fundamentally than you did today offensively. Yes, uh, basically, I think everybody went out there and gave it a great effort, and everybody did everything right for a change. It seemed like you knew exactly what Alabama was going to do, and you blocked it effectively. That's exactly right. You know, we just finally got our game plan together starting last week, you know, and uh, sort of worked hard during the week, and we just came out the ball. We knew we had to come and get them, you know.